So yeah, this will get you in trouble when you start eating pasta de natas in, uh, in Belgrade, because it's a Portuguese um, cake and it's really, really nice. But as Patrick said, um, during that conversation, oh, they're making you hungry right now, sorry. Um, <laughs> during that conversation, we started talking again about, I remember when I built pops for uh, one, in one of my previous jobs and we were going into Germany, I was sort of like, yes, got to build in Frankfurt because we'll reach everybody in Frankfurt. And then started thinking about there would be a lot of competition on getting the packets from Frankfurt to the rest of Germany. And I was wondering, is that still really the case? And people would go, no, no, no. Germany has been cleverer. There must be more diversity of traffic coming into Germany. And Patrick came up and we were discussing and he told me about his wish of making definitely not the internet uh, report for, uh, for Germany. And I started, well, at least I can go home and I can look at the data that we have. So what is that data? Um, so I should, I should tell you why I could make it up. But basically, I currently, my current employer, we are, we are a uh, NetFlow analysis um, company. Uh, we sell a service, we have customers. Most of those customers um, allow us to use their data in an aggregated view to sort of run analysis on what's happening on the internet. So given that our customers are very, it's US, Western European focused, but it is global and they are global and some of them are global networks. We have everybody from transit providers, CDNs, uh, enterprises, so it's a good mix so we believe that the data we're looking at gives at least a good indication on traffic on the internet as a whole. But with the caveat, this is Kentic customers' data we're looking at. So it's not the whole truth, but part of the truth. So I went back and then I made a, a little bit of analysis and looking at different ways I could look at the German traffic in our tool. And first, I took out all of the sites in Germany and looked at traffic in all directions and sort of like, how does that distribute? Um, and for those of you who might not be able to see the text, the big green, that's Frankfurt. The small colors are some other German sites. The major, <laughs> basically the major, the major hubs that uh, most of you will know where it is. Okay, that was one way of looking at it. How about we just look at all the traffic destined to Germany? So, oh, wait, sorry. I, did, I dug a little bit deeper into Frankfurt traffic to see, is that traffic all going into Germany, coming out of Germany? Well, a lot of it was, but there's also a lot of providers using Frankfurt to reach, to go from where they are to the rest of the world. So it's not all traffic that necessarily German sourced or German destined. So we should probably filter that out when we start looking at stuff. Again, just a quick overview of some obvious data that we might have. So how I'm looking at German destinations, but again, from our whole customer base. So this is, again, but if we look at the global customer base and all of their pops all over the world, a lot of them are handing off out in the world to Germany, but still almost 65% in Frankfurt. Let's filter out the global sites and just look at the German sites. Again, traffic going into Germany. And we go up over 80 again in Frankfurt. So, Patrick and I were debating this a little bit yesterday and sort of like, well, do we want to dig deeper into this kind of data? We cannot do it alone on the data that we have, but maybe in combination with data and with information from you on what you see in your network and how you're routing your network and what your thoughts are when you're building pops and when you're connecting to, to other networks, uh, maybe we could gather all that data and create the, not the complete internet report for Germany uh, at some point. So this is basically also a call for action. Do you want to take part of it? 
Do you have good data that we could think about? Do you want to meet in six months at a round table and talk about it? Um, and before that, communicate probably on the mailing list, or you know, we'll figure all those state details out. Um, or is it okay? Because Frankfurt is a cool place. It has a lot of diversity on site. Uh, so maybe it's okay. So that's basically my five minutes here. Comments, please. Thank you, Nina. So we had a question from Nina, and I would like to give it to the audience. Um, version A. We make it a workshop, we have a follow-up next meeting, and you get more data from us. Um, would the community, would you work with Nina and Patrick on it? Maybe clap your hands if you agree. Okay, so um, only to give uh, the second option was, Frankfurt is fine, we do not have to change, we do not have to collect any data. Is anybody this opinion that would be the right way to handle it? Okay, it's silence and I like the answer. So, um, please, um, if there's any question um, from the audience or from the internet. It seems Frankfurt does down no question. <laughs> okay, from the audience, any questions for Nina? Anybody who would like, like to raise his hand and uh, give her all the flow data? Oh, you're shy. But I think we need more than just flow data. We need routing data. I mean, we need people maybe uh, willing to share the topology or part of the topology and the thoughts on, on network design. But you know, we can all figure that out. But that's called the, the request for more information that I have. Because um, the traffic in and out is not doing all, doing everything. Okay. Uh, Patrick wants to say something, please. Yeah, so uh, I think there was some kind of interest to some extent. So what we're going to do is we'll send out an email on the mailing list. We'll create a thread to discuss it and to see how we can get further. Um, I would volunteer data, but she has it already. So I can't go forward with a good example. Someone else has to. Um, so we have somebody from the audience. Stefan? Hey, uh, Stephen Plech, thank you for the talk, very interesting. Uh, have you maybe also thought about the fact that Germany itself is maybe not big enough for multiple centers? If you look at Europe, you already have Amsterdam and London, for example, uh, who are probably very big. Uh, if you look like, globally at countries like America, how many centers do they have, or like continents-wide? Does that maybe make sense? That no, I think it's, 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 it's a good consideration to have in the, um, in, in the report. I just feel that maybe, I mean, it's not obvious to me either that Frankfurt is sort of geographically, and you look at latency, you're sort of like the right place, but it just happened because, you know, history happens, right? And that was where it happened in the beginning. So. Yeah, exactly. I think it would be interesting to compare this to other, uh, like other places outside of Europe, like how many centers, yeah. like it's an obvious center here. And I could imagine that in America, you have the same kind of thing going on, like in the East and West or like in South America, etc. Maybe that's something uh, to compare against to see if this is like a normal thing or not. That's a good point. Yeah. Thank you. Um, any more questions? There is time for one more question, please. The microphone. Uh, yeah. uh, what kind of customers you used for this evaluation? Is it more like uh, some kind of more like business customers or enterprises, or do you also had customers providing end customer services like internet providers? Because if we, I would expect a different picture if you would do the same investigation. Uh, with the data from internet service providers, then it should be more a more diverse picture here, not just Frankfurt. But if your customers are more enterprise customers, then this would be interested just what is the data source? Is it business or is it more, is it also service providers? I'm sorry, I'm not quite following your question. Is the, the customers, is, are you referring to To this data, data? You're, you're, yeah, to this data, the data source. Well, the data, it's, it's a mix of, uh, of internet service providers, content providers, uh, enterprises. It's, okay. it's basically a mix. We have but there's also public internet providers there, so end customers also, not just yes. business to I business mean, traffic. All kind of. Okay. Yeah. 
and I can go into a little bit more detail on that if you want, but you know, there are some of the bigger CDNs in the world, there are some of the bigger providers, transit providers in the world, there's a number of middle-sized ISPs and a bunch of uh, enterprises. So it's, a, it's a, quite a mix. Yeah. Okay, thank you for this last question. Thank you, Nina. And um, give her a round.